A very common request or question I got once the iPhone SE dropped is where is the Plus version? Where's the Plus variant? And it's not completely out of left field. I mean, 95 Mac reported on it happening. John Prosser said it's been delayed. So it's not like it's impossible that it could exist, but either way, I have some thoughts on the matter. Let's begin. So five iPhones a year, huh? That's not enough for you? You want to push it to six? Well, I guess, you know, a very popular segment, so having diversity for everybody to choose from for all of the different use cases out there, I guess is a fine thing. It may be a little complicated, but hey, a lot of you guys want a 5.5 inch version of the iPhone SE, which is essentially, yes, take the iPhone 8 Plus and do exactly what the iPhone SE got, which was three gigs of RAM, A13 chip, you know, update those insides, make it, you know, fresh for the new 2020 lineup so center that logo on the back ditch the iphone label make it come in three color variants black bezels on the front and remove 3d touch and you can start it at a little bit lower than the 8 plus started at but there's a few possible reasons why apple may have scrapped this project altogether there's no one reporting that i'm just saying it's possible or a reason why maybe apple just wasn't planning on doing this in the first place which is iphone launch timing is kind of important for apple and what they've done in previous years is launch iphones six to seven months after the flash flagship iPhones were launched. So that's when they launched the initial SE. It's when they launched the current SE. You know, it's kind of midway between the big refresh coming in September. And in previous years, they'd even released like limited edition product red versions of iPhones like halfway in between because Apple usually releases a couple of iPhones at the same time each year. You get a lot of sales at first and then it slows down over time. So if you release a new iPhone, even if it's not a big one, in the middle of that, you know, annual refresh, you get to peak your numbers a little bit again before, you know, the lowest part of the year, which is right before the new iPhones come out. So, but the fact that they released it in mid-April is kind of nearing the end of that, like, halfway mark. So, if they're not releasing it now, I don't think it's very likely they would want to release it in the summertime or just a few months before the iPhone 12 drops, because then a lot of people can get confused about, wait, is this a new iPhone, or is this just a middle step between the next new iPhone? Because Apple likes to keep this stuff very secret, so the halfway mark between iPhone refreshes is a good time to drop your little, you know, mid-range iPhones, but you typically don't want to do that just a couple of months before the iPhone 12 comes out. So that's why I would say Apple's probably just going to be fine with the regular SE because a lot of Apple's logic for keeping around the iPhone 8 Plus was like, well, if you like the home button and you like the traditional iPhone design, but you want portrait mode, you can just go ahead with the 8 Plus. But the difference is now, of course, the new iPhone SE has portrait mode on both the front and the back cameras. So that's no longer an exclusive feature the 8 Plus has. The 8 Plus only had like a telephoto lens that was like the one advantage it would probably have over the SE alongside yes being bigger and having a 1080p display so yeah some of you are probably in the camp of I want 1080p on my phone and I want the home button and I want the traditional design but just give me those up-to-date specs you know just give me the A13 chip and honestly while I don't think it'll happen I think it would be a really awesome phone because one of the reasons we found out the iPhone SE does not have night mode despite having the A13 chip is that night mode requires dual focus pixels which is primarily a achieved by having an ultra wide camera and a standard camera that kind of both take pictures simultaneously and that helps a lot with low light performance and because the iPhone SE only had one camera on the back it doesn't really get that dual focus technology so if they were to refresh the 8 plus one last time one last home button iPhone and give it an ultra wide camera on the back instead of a telephoto and then bring night mode to the iPhone SE plus or whatever they decide to call it that would be a pretty compelling option I mean for 500 bucks okay you lose 3d touch but you you get the A13 chip, 1080p display, which a lot of people complain about these days, but the updated camera, so you'd be getting similar camera performance from the iPhone 11, because this is still powered by the A13 chip. Update that for 2020? Yeah, I think that would sell pretty well. In fact, it would probably make a lot of people feel like they shouldn't get the iPhone SE that just dropped, because for only 100 bucks more, you get all these extra features that are included with the Plus model, including, you know, a larger battery, which is probably one of the weakest points of the iPhone SE, is that battery life is rumored to not be so great, but battery life was is very decent on the iPhone 8 Plus, and there's no 3D touch, A13 chip is more power efficient. Like, let me be clear, I want this to happen. An iPhone SE Plus would be a really, really compelling phone for a lot of people, especially if Apple is advertising the new SE to people who bought the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus. Apple's like, hey, you should come to this new phone, but some of those older people would prefer to keep the form factor they have now. They like those Plus iPhones. It's not just about the camera performance, it's also about the display size and the resolution. You know, it's easier to read stuff on there, the keyboard is a lot wider, and 
easier to type on for some, not all. So why not provide that option? I mean, I don't know. It could just come down to complexities in manufacturing. You know, they already are recycling the old iPhone 8 assembly lines. Maybe Apple believes that since the new SE has portrait mode, there's not a huge logistical reason to keep around the Plus model. But personally, because they didn't drop it in mid-April and it's more than likely not going to be dropping in the next couple months, that's why I think that there could have been one internally. There could be a prototype or something that other leakers and analysts are hearing about, but that does not guarantee that the product is actually happening. So yeah, welcome back to Talos of Tech, and this is where I crush everyone's dreams. iPhone SE Plus, yep, they would probably have amazing specs. They could put some amazing technology in it, and for people who don't care about the bezel-less trend in Face ID, this would be a huge, very appreciated option that people could buy and use for a long time, but because Apple wants to probably keep the iPhone lineup a little bit more simple, and it's already getting really complicated, and they want to convince people that, you know, Face ID is the future, you know, they're not going back on Touch ID, they're just kind of recycling that old design for those people who want it, but they're not going too crazy with it, you know? You can come up with endless concepts of your head for just different use cases for people. Like, you could make the argument of, well, some people want a really nice display, but they don't care about the camera at all, so why not make a version of the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a 6.7 inch OLED display, but like one camera on the back that's really, really bad, and that helps bring the price down. It's like, sure, that would probably cater to some people. Some people may like that, but that doesn't mean Apple's gonna make a model for each individual use case. They kind of have to eventually just pick one and hope that's the best case scenario for the most amount of people. But what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Is the iPhone SE Plus actually happening? Let me know on Twitter. Join my Discord. We can chat more about it there. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I apologize for ordering the white iPhone SE. I know. I'm not as big as a hero as those people who ordered Product Red. They're changing the world, and I'll see you in the next one.